Hi everyone, my name is Diana. Welcome back to my sewing room and I am so excited to share with you today because we've got a lot of new things going on at Wish that I think people will really love. Uh, to start with, let me tell you that Lori's uh, first panel came in, her sample panel came into the shop uh, for Lori Kent Designs and it was her llama and she asked me to do something with it. So this is what I have done with her panel. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Lori picked out the grunge fabrics that are surrounding it. And um, as you can see here, what I've done with this is I have made a flying geese border with multiple colors instead of doing them all, uh, all the wings the same, I've done the wings in multiple colors. So that leads me to be able to tell you that Frank has given us the go ahead and we are going to be able to resume classes. We are so excited. And for those of you that are local to us, you know that our classroom is very small and there would be no way to really safely social distance in our classroom. So uh, last week we held a sample class for some of our um, customers and we did it over Zoom and it went really well. So for the foreseeable future, we are going to be holding our classes over Zoom and we are going to be starting next Monday, the 15th at 1 p.m. with a wing clipper class and that is going to be me. I am going to be teaching the wing clipper which does the flying geese that you saw on the panel that I just showed you. And I'm really excited about this one because flying geese are something that we see all the time in quilts as quilters. And a lot of times they can be really frustrating to make. So I'm not gonna demo the wing clipper for you today, but I am gonna show you a few examples of the things that you can make with the wing clipper and the things that we'll be going over in the class. So to get started, I'm going to show you this right here. And this is my sample board. And as you can see here, I've got 10 different sizes that the wing clipper can make. And it's, it goes from this really, really large size to this really, really teeny size. And I was able to make all of these in about 20 minutes. It was very simple because you do four at a time. So that will be something that I go over in the class is how to make the geese four at a time and how to make sure that you're getting those perfect points and that they're not gonna get cut off when you sew your geese into your seams. So let me show you the tool itself down here on my cutting table. Okay, so this is the wing clipper. And as you can see, there are several different markings on it. There are some diagonal lines that you see here that go uh, in your seam lines that allow you to trim down. You've got some X's up here that help you keep your quarter inch seam allowance. And then you've got these down here that, that go with your first trim to make sure you're also getting your quarter inch seam allowance. And like I always do with all my Studio 180 tools, I go to studio180design.net and I download my instructions uh, from the free downloads page. And as you can see here, it shows all the different sizes on this chart and they go from one by one and a half inch finished all the way up to five and a half by 10 and a half inch. Uh, oh, excuse me, that is unfinished. So it starts by one by one and a half unfinished to five and a half by 10 and a half unfinished and half inch by one inch finished to five inch by 10 inch finished. So there are 10 different sizes that we can do with this tool. So let me show you of a couple examples here of flying geese in a block. So with this one here, I actually used my Tucker trimmer, my, uh, square squared tool and my flying geese tool to make this block. And as you can see here, I've got flying geese here, right? So this block finishes out at uh, six inches. So this is a pretty small block. So as you can see, I've got the very small flying geese there. And then I've got another one here that also are, it, this one finishes out at six inches. And again, you can see the flying geese out here on the edge. And I used my tucker trimmer and my uh, wing clipper to make this block. Then I have a larger block here. 
And I also used my tucker trimmer to make my combination units here in the center. And then I used my wing clipper to make these flying geese out here on the edge. And then those of you that have gotten your free pattern to make a house so that we can put it into a quilt, if you email the shop, there's a free pattern for this block and they will send it to you. And we're asking you to send them in or bring them into the shop. And then we're gonna sew it into one big quilt to show that we were all uh, kind of in this together, staying at home, working on things while we're under stay at home orders. And as you can see the roof line here, those are flying geese. And I've got one last sample to show you and I'm going to teach you how to make this. This is an advanced uh, block. This is called geese on the edge and this is made with your wing clipper as well. And basically what it does is it combines a log cabin unit and a flying, ge and flying goose unit to make this. So there are four squares here. And as you can see, I've got these geese here and then it, it, is built log cabin style and in the class I'm going to go over how to make this with you and how to make it come out perfectly so that all your points aren't cut off and that's another thing I'm going to go over is how to make your flying geese perfect. So we are, again, we are excited to announce that we are gonna be holding classes again. Uh, once we get this first class uh, underway, we're going to be adding more classes to the website. All you have to do is go onto our website at wishuponaquilt.com and look under the classes tab and look for the wing clipper class. The description will be in it. We are going to hold it over Zoom. So you will need either a phone, a tablet, or a computer near your sewing machine and your cutting table so that you can see me and I can see you and I can help you through the process of making your units. Um, your supply list will be given along with an invite and a link to the Zoom class with a password once you are registered for the class. The class is going to be $29. It will be two hours long and it will be held from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Time on the 15th. Costa and I have really enjoyed doing these wonderful demo videos for you uh, and, and short tutorial videos, but we really enjoy interacting with our students and we were trying to figure out a way to do that safely. And we realized that if we did this in the shop, it would only be one or two students and it wouldn't be worth our while. And we couldn't guarantee that we would be able to social distance safely. So these classes are available to anyone all over the country. So you are welcome to register whether you're local to us or not. We are limiting the first class to 10 participants. So if you get there and the class is full, then email us at wishuponaquilt at bellsouth.net and we will start a waiting list. And if we get enough people on the waiting list, we will add a second session. And once we've done that, we're going to start adding more classes. I'll be teaching Tucker rulers. I'll be teaching bag classes. So all these tutorials that you have seen me go over in the last three months, I will be doing full classes on them. We'll be learning how to make quilts. We'll be learning how to make basic units with our Tucker tools. Costa will be doing embroidery classes. We're going to hold our Janome Club classes. And uh, Nora and Jeannie, I believe, also will be holding classes as well. So keep your eyes out for that. Sign up for our newsletter that comes out in our email. Check our Wish Upon a Quilt Facebook page and check our Wish Stay at Home Projects page to find out what classes we're going to be offering and when. We really appreciate all the support that you've given us while we've been under stay at home orders and while we haven't been able to open. They were open last week from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Saturday. I heard it went very well, but there are limitations to the, uh, to the number of people that we can have in the shop. They are requiring that you wear a mask. They're limiting it to three people and they are asking that everybody stay two yards of fabric apart. So we can't wait to see you back in the shop. You can order 24 hours a day at wishuponaquilt.com. And you can also um, have curbside pickup as well between 10 and 2 p.m. Monday through Saturday. So if you're not com comfortable coming into the shop, we're still offering curbside pickup. Lori, uh, Lori Kent's designs will be coming out. Her new panels are coming. She believes they will be shipping at the end of June or the beginning of July. Uh, we are also uh, have some great machines on sale. Check our website for that. Check our Facebook page for that. If you're interested in having a demo, give the shop a call. They're doing 30 minute increments and giving you demos in the shop. 
So once again, thank you so much for joining us on all these tutorials. We will continue to have live videos and tutorials for you in addition to our classes. We can't wait to see you both online and in the shop. Thanks so much. Have a great day.